Hi, welcome to another beautiful episode of Kitchen Revelations. Today, I've come up with another healthy recipe made from drumstick leaves or moringa, also known as miracle plant. This is an Indian tree that has been used in traditional medicine for thousands of years. It is called miracle tree because each and every part is beneficial in some way or the other. The leaves have seven times more vitamin C than oranges and 15 times more potassium than bananas. So this is how the drumstick tree looks like. So today we are going to make a recipe out of these leaves. As they are rich in iron, they help in reducing weakness and drowsiness in the body resulting in increased energy levels. Also they are rich in phytochemicals and antioxidants that help in reducing blood sugar and cholesterol. These leaves are very rich in calcium, vitamin K and protein which contribute to a healthy bone. Since they are rich in vitamin A, C and iron, they are good for your eyes, hair and also boost your immune system. They are good for your brains. People having Alzheimer's, dementia and other brain problems are given moringa leaves to help reduce severity and correct the damage. Another good thing is they are high in vitamin B which help in digestion and help in treating stomach disorders like constipation, gastritis and stomach ulcers. Taking 1.5 teaspoons or 7 grams of moringa leaf powder every day for 3 months help in reducing blood sugar levels. So one thing I would suggest to all those people who are suffering from diabetes is convert these leaves into powder. Uh, for that you need to take fresh leaves of moringa which are dried in shade. Make sure that you don't dry them under direct sunlight because it will reduce the nutritional value of moringa leaves. After it is dried properly, grind them into fine powder and store in an airtight container. You can mix it with your uh, food preparations or tea early in the morning and consume it daily for 3 months. Ok so let's start with the recipe. Now before starting with the cooking preparation, I am going to soak some lentils. Here I have taken moong dal, half cup, then half cup masoor dal and half cup tuar dal. Wash them thoroughly. Now soak these lentils for minimum 1 hour. You can also soak them overnight. Keep this aside and next I am going to take the plucked drumstick leaves. To these leaves, I am going to add some water and some salt. Allow the leaves to sit in this water for some time. This is done to get rid of dirt if any. So it's been 1 hour and now I am going to pressure cook the soaked lentils. Add half a teaspoon of salt, 1 fourth teaspoon turmeric powder and some water for cooking and then pressure cook for about 1 to 2 whistle. So while the lentils are being cooked, I have cleaned and washed the leaves thoroughly and I am allowing to drain. So now let's start with the cooking process. To start with, I have spluttered some mustard seeds and red chilli in oil. To that I am going to add finely chopped 2 red onions. Slightly sort the onions till they turn golden in color. Now to this I am going to add 1 tablespoon of crushed garlic and 2 to 3 green chilies finely chopped. Sort till the raw smell goes away and they turn golden brown in color. Now to this I am going to add 2 medium sized potatoes finely chopped. Cover and cook till the potatoes turn tender. Potatoes are almost 80% done. Now to this I am going to add the washed and strained drumstick leaves. If you are new to this channel and for more healthy and simple recipes, please do not forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Next I am going to add the spices. To this add half teaspoon turmeric powder half teaspoon black pepper powder and half teaspoon salt. Mix everything really well and cover and cook till the leaves turn soft and tender. So our leaves have turned soft and tender. Next I am going to add the cooked dal. Mix gently and switch off the flame. 
Now if you need a gravy consistency add some water bring it to boil and give some seasoning or tadka and your gravy will be ready. However I am going to serve this with roti or chapati hence I am not going to add water to this. For added flavor you can add 1 teaspoon of ghee or clarified butter. So our tasty and healthy drumstick leaves recipe is ready. Do share it with your friends if you liked this video and do not forget to subscribe to Kitchen Revelations. Thank you for watching.